So we are actually getting the events from the Chinese patch notes. So we are getting Tong Shai Renewal limited time event, and we are also getting the Holler's Hunt limited time event, which looks pretty interesting to me. I'm eager to test it out. Now we are also getting a new Pantom market, which honestly looks one of the best ones, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want it, but we'll see if I can get it. We're also getting a Lunar Splendor Phantom Gallery, where we can get some Eternal Orbs, Aberran Darkling Wesser, Mob of the Deep, 5-star Legendary Camp, 11 Legendary Crests. And these are guaranteed rewards on your pools, on 2 pools, 4 pools, 7 pools, and 9 pools. We have chances in this event to get 2-star Legendary Camp, Ignis Corn, Familiar Contract, Legendary Crests, 10 of them, with 1.4% chance, Bound Gem Fragments, 30 of those, with 1% chance, 5-star Legendary Gem, Mob of the Deep, with 0.5% chance, Legendary Crests, 15 of them, with 0.27%, Masterwork Chest, quite nice, with 0.23% chance, and then is Another Master Gem Chest with just 0.16% chance and a greater Master Gem Chest with 0.16 chance and 10 also Legendary Crests, 25 of them with 0.12% chance. Although the reward seems to be really, really good, but the chances seems to be pretty low, but I feel like this is going to be working just like the Pantom market, so you are definitely getting all of this. The problem just is, it's probably gonna cost more and more as we go onwards. The more interesting part, Holler's Hunt limited time event. In this event, a full moon rises and the blades that were once at the throat of your enemies rest warily next to your foes. This will last from January 31 to February 21. The Holder's Hunt event, one of you shall betray the others this night, but strike falsely and your ranks thin. The bloodthirsty Holder has infiltrated a group of adventurers. Find it and kill it before it kills you. This will be available at level 30 and above. During the match, one of your companions will become the Holder. The Holder is tasked with sabotaging their former companions' progress using additional treats to tear advantage to disrupt any progress made. Holders can summon undead incursions and blighted sacred wards to cause chaos. Holders can instantly slay their nearest ally, but this will reveal your true Howler form for several seconds. So this, this is basically kind of like maybe Among Us, if you guys have played this, this sounds really interesting. Once a slain adventurer's corpse is located, a vote will be called to execute the adventurer suspected of the fall deed. So this is basically Among Us inside Diablo Immortal. I'm really, really excited to test it out. This, this will be kind of interesting, so I'm eager, eagerly waiting to test this out. Now on the Tising Renewable Limit Time event, we will get red bags or time, and we have five tasks to complete for rewards, including dungeons, elder rift killing, elite monsters, bounties, and defeating Jingun, who becomes available to destroy on February 9. Completing these tasks earns you red bags and swim. There is no limit to the number of times you can complete these tasks for rewards, but there is a weekly limit for how many rewards you can earn the limit of 30 redbacks and 102. Each week that Chong Shi's renewal is active. Now we will get gold, scrap, dust, glowing shards and gems from this event, which is kinda nice. And players can also reward shots as the Pound, Legendary Crest, and Spark Cask for logging in on the following days on February 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 14, 17, 21, and 24. Now this event will start on January 31. 
And once Chingun has been found on February 8th, you'll be able to climb three rare crests. Now these are all the events we are getting. We do get some returning events, but I'm not going to talk about those on this one. And I will catch you on the next one.